Hey Virgo, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for your likes, subscribes, and shares. If there's anything else you'd like to know about me, it's in the description. This reading will be for Virgo, Sun, Moon, and Rising. Keep in mind, you do not have to be a Virgo to resonate with this reading. Please take what resonates and leave the rest. Cross watchers are welcome. Virgo, gang, gang. I hope you are doing well and taking care of yourselves because I am, it is I, your cosmic spirit guide. Jackie, 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 Jackie. <laughs> Let's get some messages from the person on your mind. Okay. I keep, I'm keeping my distance to protect you and your energy. Okay, so this person is trying to protect you and your energy. Maybe they have some things going on that they're not speaking about. I'm disappointed in myself for letting you down. You're the first thing I think about when I open my eyes. Oh, you got this person and they feelings for real, for real. Don't wait around for me. So in the obstacles and blocks, we have don't wait around for me because this person wants you to pour into your own cup. They want you to work, like take care of yourself. They want you to worry about yourself. I keep dreaming about us together. So <clears throat> I'm sure you and this person are having dreams about each other. I'm going through a dark night of the soul and the space. So somebody's definitely having a spiritual awakening here and we have I miss us on the bottom. Let's get into your spread, and then I'm going to clarify with the tarot. Yeah, um, somebody has, has romantic feelings for you, but they want you to take care of yourself. Some of you, I'm hearing, you need to reach out to um, some family members. Excuse me. Magnetic attraction, alluring lust, irresistible, and flirting. So, mutual energy between you two. There's definitely a mutual magnetic attraction here. Um, this person finds you irresistible. Like, for some reason, I'm getting like, y'all always end up coming back to each other. Um, we have proposal, love offer, engagement, agreement, which come true. And what I'm getting with this, like sometimes some people make arrangements or offers that don't necessarily have to be written on paper, okay? It says uh, agreement, love offer, and wish come true. It's like somebody here feels like they let you down and maybe because you have goals and dreams and ambitions and somebody may feel like they got in the way of that. We have intuition, gut feeling, psychic, premonition, sixth sense. So this person feels like there's a psychic connection between you two. Like y'all, I'm hearing like telepathic communication. This person also wants you to trust yourself and your gifts um, because this person is watching you. If you're in the public eye, if you're a reader, a light worker, a healer, um, or no matter what you do, you could be a musician, an artist, whatever. Um, they want you to trust your intuition and keep doing what you're doing. Yeah, th th this person that you're dealing with, they're very psychic, by the way. They may not really speak on it like that, but the person um, that you were dealing with, they are just as gifted as you are.
reconciliation, reunion, second chance, back together, I miss you. And this is clarifying, don't wait around for me. So like I said, this person don't want you to wait around. They want you to ascend. They want you to heal. They want you to grow. Some of you are light workers and you came to raise the frequency of the planet. And this person just wants you to focus on that. Um, you may not see no movement in the three B in the three D, three B, goodness, in the three D, but there's movement in the five D. They miss you. They have not miss you out here twice. Okay. Third party. Celebration, event, public, social gathering. So this could be somebody that's very uh, extroverted, very outgoing. Um, they could be like well-known in their community, but this person is having dreams of like being with you, the good old times, partying, things like that. Um, I'm getting an element of nostalgia this person is having dreams of like the things y'all used to do together. Yeah, you and this person, like y'all are tethered together. As I look at these pictures, This is definitely um, a twin flame runner chaser dynamic. Like y'all end up running away from each other, coming back, running away from each other, coming back. Okay. We have music, musician, snake, charmer, harmony, melodic. So this person, they connect with you through music. Okay, um, this is somebody that actually could be really charming, but this person right now, they're using music to communicate with you telepathically. For some of you, you may, you may like oldies. So this person, they're sending you songs through your algorithm, which has been so weird to me lately. Um, mystery, unknown, enigma, illusion, confusing. So, because of the way this person acted, or li maybe lied or played in your face, um, they left you feeling confused, like, for real. And there's somebody here that's definitely, like, lusting after you. Damn, I'm blind. Can't see I'm blind. Don't laugh at me. <laughs> Let me see. Cause I got light on and the window open. I can't see. take this three of wands so we have the three of wands right now clarifying magnetic attraction oh i need glasses so moving forward finding direction chance advancement so so it's like somebody there's an element of manifesting okay taking a chance. Somebody here is going to take a chance. Three of Wands moving forward towards somebody, taking a chance on them, um, taking a risk. I'm seeing a full card in my third eye. Oh, they're not playing about you. Three of Wands, Six of Wands. Victory, success, moving forward with the intentions of being successful in pursuing you. Okay. 
Okay. Okay. Go to that Ten of Wands. So, I'm giving like this connection could have been a, like it was a whole burden, you know, because it's like mind games back and forth. Um, it could have took a toll on you spiritually, emotionally. <clears throat> This person is like, they like when you first met, when you two first met, y'all recognized each other instantly. It's almost like it was from a past life. Oh my goodness, all these wands card. There's a lot of passion. Um, wands can talk about, you know, wieners. <laughs> Sex, lust. Um, there's a lot of lust here. There's a lot of magnetic attraction here. Um, mutually. But this person's manifesting you. Like, what is this? You could be dealing with a Virgo or a Gemini. Queen of Swords reverse, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. How this person feels towards you? They feel like they thought you were easily influenced. Um, they feel like because they let you down, like they feel like they were careless and cold hearted towards you. Um, they were a little bit too overly critical. They feel like you were easily influenced. And they were wrong, Cletus. They were wrong. The five of wands reverse. Oh, so now somebody wants to compromise. They want to compromise. That might be the title. Okay. Um, compromise, resolve, dispute. Tension, release, peace, avoiding conflict, solution. So now, because this person realizes that y'all are psychically linked, they want to avoid conflict. They want peace. Waving the flag. Oh. He said, don't wait around for me, but these two cards clarify in this card. They said, don't wait around for me, but I'm coming in with a new beginning. Prosperity, abundance, we have manifestation on this card. I can't make this shit up. This person is fucking manifesting you. Um, You could be dealing with the Gemini Libra Aquarius, but this person is somebody that's very ambitious. Um and very determined. This is a very determined person. This person can sell water to a well. This person is a fucking fast talker. <laughs> this person knows how to sell tissue to a butthole. <laughs> Okay, we have the Eight of Pentacles Reverse and the Justice card. So you could be done with the Libra, but in the best approach, somebody here has a lack of motivation, lacking ambition or focus, um, and we have misdirected activity. So I'm getting, what I'm getting is like somebody has maybe addictions or um, unhealthy unhealthy goodness unhealthy coping mechanisms and we have justice transparency cause and effect accountability lawsuits will be won 
Okay, so somebody could be dealing with a lawsuit here, but it looks like because it's upright, it's going to go in your benefit. It's going to benefit you. You're going to win. Um, somebody could have drained your energy. So I guess the advice here would be... Um, Yes, pour into yourself, get your motivation back, get your energy back, step into your power. Ace of Pentacles and the Ace of Cups. New love or feelings, emotional awakening. Somebody's going through the dark night of the soul and they're having an emotional awakening. Mm. Like you spiritually woke this person up. You spiritually woke this person up. And then we have the Seven of Cups because... This person may have had a lot of endless choices, um, too many to the point where they couldn't make a choice, but definitely daydreaming about you. And somebody here could be searching for purpose, whether it's you or them. Somebody realizes now that they're a human being, they are a spirit ha having a human experience. Okay. This is just a human experience. You know, we're all just spirit and we're all connected. So, oh crap. This person is like, you're it. Um, we are one, unified love, shared understanding. So this person wants to come to like a mutual agreement with you. There's an element of this person saying, sit your ass down. <laughs> sit your ass down and wait a minute. Fair. Okay. I'm sorry, y'all. I can't see. Should have left it like this in the first place. I'm blind as hell. Okay. I'm going crazy without you. I want to see you so bad. I'm going crazy. Crazy. Loco. I'm at a crossroads. Should I fight for this or move on? Relationships are a lot of work. Being single is easier. It is until it ain't. Until you realize the universe chose you to be a twin. <laughs> then what? Then what? I'm on a spiritual journey. You have awakened me. I can't make this shit up. Can't make this up. They're going through a darkness or they're having a spiritual awakening. They realize that you both are two halves of one soul. I hate that I hurt you. You didn't deserve this. Please don't blame yourself. It was all my fault. I saw that 1919. Listen. So it seems to me like somebody wants to take accountability here. Finally, it's happened to me. <laughs> I can't sing, so I just be fucking around. I look at my phone every day hoping I would see a message from you. Well, you won't. I think Virgo is like, I'm taking my power back. I'm not, you know, I'm here, but I ain't. I ain't, I ain't, <laughs> I ain't making no move.
I'm used to getting my way, but you put me in my place. Yeah, you put this person right in their place. You was like, I don't care. I tried to replace you, but it didn't work out because I'm madly in love with you and I was hiding it. I know this is divine. 2020 on the recorder. Okay. Home, comfort, safety, belonging, shelter. Mutual energy. You feel like home to this person, and this person feels like home to you. Don't, don't say it otherwise. I ain't trying to hear it. Spiritual awakening, enlightenment, epiphany, life lesson, rebirth. So you're having a spiritual awakening right now. You understand that this person is your twin and that it was a faded meeting. 2121. Better that I can see the reporter. Roll the dice, take a chance, risk, leap of faith strategy. This person, they about to take a chance. 2131 on the reporter. They're about to take a leap of faith towards you. Unfinished. <laughs> Unfinished business, it's not over. Patterns, back and forth, baggage. It ain't over till it's over. <laughs> Mystery, unknown, enigma, illusion, confusing. So, this person feels like you're being mysterious. Well, you're a Virgo, duh. And they're like, they like that shit. Signs and synchronicities. Coincidences. Signal hints. Messages from the universe. So this person is seeing signs and synchronicities when it comes to you. It's actually getting quite annoying to them. A faded meeting on the bottom. They know that this is a divine connection. They realize now that Hello, twin flames. Um, but it's not your place to be chasing. And I feel like divine feminine is like I'm not chasing. And the runner is just going to have to turn their ass <laughs> around. Okay, turn your ass around, sir, ma'am. Let me get an angel card and close out. Hope y'all enjoyed this reading. There's two. I'll take the one that hit the table. Okay, we have flow. Flow, flow, flow. Things happen when they are supposed to. This is a this is a reminder from your angels to trust in the flow of the universe and to always follow your intuition when making decisions. With positive changes and opportunities on the horizon, now is a great time for you to take action and move forward in your life. I told you this is about you. Okay, this is not about them. This is about you. The only thing, the only way to make this happen is if you're taking care of yourself spiritually, mentally, spiritually, you know, etc. Well, Virgo, this is all I have for you. Thank you so much for tuning in. I love you guys, and I'll talk to you soon. Peace.